Hey friend, today we have a four minute ball workout. It is going to leave you feeling great. You're gonna place that ball between your legs, squeezing it between your knees. My back is flat on the floor. Tabletop position, we have a tabletop crunch, squeezing the ball and exhaling every time you come up. Now look at my form. I'm raising my head and my shoulder blades off the floor, but everything else is completely flat. Good, keep on squeezing that ball, just warming that core up. Eyes are looking up at that ceiling. Great job. Now transition, legs can go straight up or they can remain tabletop. I'm gonna keep my legs tabletop for this. Another modification is putting those hands underneath your back and lower your legs right back down. Now hands will go behind your head. You will lower the legs down and bring them right back up. Lower them down, come back up. I'm going to adjust. We're going to have 15 reps. Remember squeezing the ball the whole time. You're doing great. You can also modify by resting your head just like me. You do not have to have your head up. Just remember to keep your back flat on the ground. You're doing awesome. Squeeze that ball. You should feel this in the lower part of your abs right now and in your inner thighs. You can also do these exercises without the ball. Last few. Great job. Now working on our obliques, I'm laying down on my side. For this exercise, you wanna stack your feet. It's a ball leg raise, it's targeting our obliques. Press the ball and raise your hips at the same time. So say you don't have a ball, you have a block at home or your kid's toy, whatever you have that you can press into, you wanna press into that thing right now. You will feel it, squeezing your navel in at the same time. You're doing great. Big exhale every time you raise your legs. Okay, we gotta do the other side. Can't have one pretty side, gotta have two. So you'll flip on over. Same thing on the opposite side, just 15 reps. You can lay your head down on your hand or you can have your head resting on your shoulder. Totally up to you. Gotta adjust the costume just a little bit. And now have your hand on your head and then press that ball, raise those hips up. For me, it felt a lot better to have my hand rested on my head because just laying down was not working. So press, raise up, exhale, press up. This is again, targeting your obliques. That's where you should feel it. Just 15 reps. You're doing great. Keep it up and done. We're almost finished, you guys. We're now gonna flip on over, transitioning into our last exercise of today. We have a double leg crisscross, just 10 reps, one is one. You're gonna extend the legs out and come right back. Extend the legs and come right back and reset. Not a modification, you keep your knees tabletop going up and back. Get ready to start, extend and come back. Extend, draw right back. You're doing great, keep it up. We only have six more. Last six, I feel it. Five, ah, four, breathe, three, Come on, friend, you got this. Two and one. Excellent job, rest all the way back. You did amazing today. Leave your comments, let me know how you like this workout. I look forward to seeing you next week for our second ball workout. Have an amazing week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.